Hello, welcome in. My name is Dr. Skin. I'm a board certified dermatologist, an aesthetician, and an amateur equestrian. If you want to hear any more about that later. This is my practice. I built it from the ground up. It used to be what is colloquially called a crack house. Um, it was an establishment where people did do illicit substances, but we've converted it through a labor of love and sweat and tears and blood. We've converted it into this lovely dermatology establishment. And we've been open and practicing for the last 15 years. Okay, I'm pulling up your file now. Tell me a little bit about why you came in here today. That sounds like a good plan. I have on here that you're in here for a full skin check. We'll check every inch of that skin and we'll make sure that you don't have any moles that perturb me, make me angry, you know. So we will check those moles that you're concerned about. Where are they? Okay, bottom of the foot. And where's the other one? Okay. In the belly button is actually not uncommon for moles. Alright, do you have any other concerns about your skin that you want me to take a particular look at today? Okay. Nothing in particular. All right, let's take a minute to go through your medical history before we start the exam. Are you on any medications right now? Okay. What's the dosage on that one? Okay. Any others? How long you been on that? Okay. This one can have an effect on your skin. Are you aware of that? Yeah, so if you ever start noticing um, that you're getting these... <sighs> how do I describe them? They're like a bump and then they turn into a point and then they go back down to a bump. It's like if a mountain were on top of a hill. So if you ever see anything like that and it's mostly blue, that can be a rare side effect of this medication. And it is very serious because um, it's turning blue because your legs are dying. If you get these on your legs and they start turning blue, that could be the end of your legs quite shortly afterwards. Again, rare complication. So look out if on your legs, on this medication, you ever get something that seems, you know, in structure similar to a heel and then a mountain on top and is mostly blue, purplish green. Okay, that's a rare one. Any other medications? Okay. Now, how often are you taking things like ibuprofen and Tylenol and all the others? Okay, do you take allergy medications with any frequency? Okay. Be careful with nose spray. My sister, she was addicted to that Afro nose spray for a really long time. She went to rehab. Everyone else there was in the rehab for more serious drugs. Um, she was at the rehab for the nose spray. 
it's silly but it's not because it's quite serious because it's very addictive and I think a lot of people don't know how addictive that nose spray that, that nose spray is okay what else Do you smoke any cigarettes? Okay. Tobacco is going out of fashion. Um, and then it's kind of coming back in fashion in terms of the vaping. Do you vape? Stay away from those vapes. Those are bad for your skin. They're bad for your lungs. They can start house fires. Um, I have a good friend of mine, Bernice Citadel. Do you know Bernice Citadel? She lives over on 122 Poplar. So, yeah, Bernice Citadel down the way, um, she burnt her house down with one of those vapors. The thing about those vapors is that lithium battery is pretty much a bomb right these things can go off all the time that's why they have you uh, let let them know if you've got lithium batteries in your suitcase when you're about to get on a flight so don't mess with them on okay? it's not worth it all right tell me about your sun exposure okay are you wearing a sunscreen uh-huh, that's good, that's good. Are you wearing a sunscreen every day? Okay, that's good. Good job. You need to wear that sunscreen every day. The more we learn in dermatology, the more we realize sun's not good for the skin. Um, a lot of women in my generation, unfortunately, I they, they slather themselves up in baby oil like a Christmas turkey and they baked themselves on the beaches like a turkey covered in sand. The thing about sand is you can't get it out of food no matter how hard you try. I once brought some uh, luncheon meat to the beach. It was ham, I believe, or bologna which are similar meats after all. But anyways, dropped it in the sand, tried to brush off the sand and eat it, but I got so much sand in my teeth. But for me, I wasn't really laying out because I was focused on the horses. Um, and I did wear sunscreen when I would ride on the horses because, you know, my old mare, <laughs> Trinity K. Bonet, was the name of my sweet horse um, well she would get hot she would get so hot um, so overheated um, and that would make me burn you know because if the horse is getting hot you're getting hot you know okay so we're wearing that sunscreen I hope okay all right um, tell me about your history with acne. Mm. Mm. Count yourself lucky. Count yourself lucky. Acne is the devil. Acne is my biggest enemy because I just hate to see the way it's ruining the kids' confidence. I have some some younger patients, you know, this is against HIPAA, but please don't tell anyone. A little girl named uh, Mick McKenzie has just the worst acne, but it's not on her face. It is covering the back of her shoulder blades and arms like she's some kind of bird creature and that wings would pop out and that the part that the, the places where the different acne is are where the feathers come out. Do you remember that movie, Natalie Portman and that little Mina Kunis, uh, Black Swan? It kind of reminded me of that. 
So I just feel so bad for these kids without acne. Okay. prerequisite questions. Okay, we're all done with the questions for now. Let me tell you what's about to go down. I'm going to give you this little row. You're going to get down to your underoonies. Um, leave those on, please. Put this robe over yourself and then you're going to sit here. Uh, I'm going to step outside. It could be anywhere from just two minutes, right, where uh, you haven't even gotten fully undressed yet that I'll burst back in. Or it could be a matter of 30 minutes and you'll be sitting here um, in this flimsy little robe for God knows how, you know, for 30 minutes, actually. I was about to say for God knows how long. We do know 30 minutes just kind of letting the air breeze. Hopefully that won't be the case for you, darling, okay? Um, but I can't promise anything because I did get quite distracted uh, in the halls of this practice. Um, gossiping and such. Okay, here you go. Okay, honey, I'm back. I hope I wasn't gone too long, um, but I really have no idea how long I was gone. My time blindness is, blindness is horrible. Okay, I'm going to start the exam now, don't mind me. Have you always had your, this mark here next to the ear? Okay. That's just a cherry and gem. I love cherry and gems. they're so cute. What happened here? That's unfortunate. Don't let your kitty claw you. Yeah, I guess that's what it looks like. You got clawed pretty bad, huh? Alright, can you lift this arm for me? Do you always sweat this much? Me too, I'm so sweaty. Klein, can you lift the other arm for me? Is it possible you have magic marker on your skin? Okay, that's what this looks like, but I just wanted to make sure. Brian, you're wearing your backpack way too tight. You shouldn't have indentations from a backpack that you took off a good 25 minutes ago. That could be quite concerning. Okay, you can put your arm down. Kind of just twist your leg for me so I can see it better. Mm. Do you always get razor burn that bad? 
that's actually KP that's um, making that happen. I can prescribe you some stuff. I can give you some stuff that can uh, make that go down. Only thing about KP treatment, um, keratosis psoriasis, uh, is that, and I'm not sure if that's correct, I always just say KP because I never really remember the name of it. Um, you can't go out in the sun. Uh, without some severe protection uh, because your skin can really burn if you're using those acids and then you're going out in the sun but it's the winter months uh, so if you're wearing pants most days this is a good time to treat that KP if you're interested again that's just an aesthetic thing so you don't have to if you don't want to okay can I see those hands spread your fingers You know, they say it's good luck to have a little mole between your fingers. It means you're a good writer. Are you any good at writing? Well, maybe look into it. Okay, lift those tuts up. I'm just gonna have you sit down and then I'm gonna check your head, check under your hair, okay? Okay, just stay still for me. You've got quite a bit of hair. have a zit on your scalp or your that? Could be an ingrown hair. Let me put a little medication on that for you. That's all for the skin exam, honey. So go ahead and get dressed. I'm gonna be back in here and anywhere from five uh, minutes to an hour uh, to chat with you about everything that went down, okay? Okay, honey, so I didn't see anything that I'm concerned about in your exam. All of your moles look appropriately sized. Remember, it's about size, shape, um, color, and newness with moles. So, uh, what to be looking out for in terms of your moles is, has your mole changed size and or changed shape? You know, if your mole used to be an egg and, and now it looks like a chicken bursting out of an egg, that is a major shape change that you need to talk to me about. We're going to have to check that out if that occurs. Um, if that egg grows larger, right? If you have a mole that was a chicken egg and now it's an ostrich egg, we've got to talk about that. Uh, collar. Okay, if your mole is black, that can be a sign of something. If the mole changes color from one color to the next, okay. Um, but something that people don't know is that most moles uh, that are plump and round and stick up off the skin are healthy, are perfectly healthy. Um, I've got plenty of them. I've got plenty of them. Yes, I do. Okay, and then, so we said size, shape, color, newness. Anytime you get a new mole that you've never noticed before, I'm gonna wanna chat with you about it, okay? Um, 
Of course, moles are things that we can collect throughout our lifetime. Uh, but, but when a new one arrives, we do want to we want to give them the grilling, right? The same way any new family member, when they arrive into the family, I see it kind of the rundown, the whole situation, the whole talk. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you have a mark on your hand? That to me, it looks like you poked yourself with a pencil when you were really young. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just making sure. Okay, then we did talk about that the KP, those bumps on the legs. Again, it's just an aesthetic thing. It's just like the skin has grown too much skin. Um, if you would like to remove them, yeah, I have something with a certain acid in it. I can give you, but also just some good old-fashioned exfoliation, really, um, if you've ever tried an, Af an African bath mat. Um, it's just, you know, uh, it's a net, but it's not for fish or anything like that. Um, it's to exfoliate your skin. Um, you can use those body sugars uh, one thing is I mean we want a washcloth or a regularly changed loofah or an African bath night or the various other you know you, you want, I don't want you to be washing your ass with the palm of your hand right I don't want you to put soap directly on that hand and then stick it on your ass and think that that's cleaning you. That's not cleaning you. If we want to get that dead skin off too, we want to be using something that isn't necessarily skin textured. You know, if you're rubbing skin with skin, that doesn't exfoliate. Uh, yeah, so that can really help KP as well. So there's a chemical exfoliant and that one, like I told you, um, with the whole sun thing. We can't be having those gam gams, which is what I like to call legs, uh, just out, you know, in the, in the, um, in the sun, if you've been using that acid. Okay. I don't know how often you get these injuries from your cat, like the one I saw today, but if you ever get one of these injuries and and they start to swell, don't ignore that, okay? Because there's a lot of bacteria uh, that cats, dogs, anyone, but animals carry. Um, and if you get an infection from an animal injury. That's not something you want to ignore. You can come in to me. A lot of people don't know that, but I'll give you antibiotics. I'm not afraid to give out an antibiotic. Um, we don't have to give them that much in my line of work, so it's a good, it's honestly a cheap thrill for me when I get to prescribe an antibiotic. Now, what are, we, what are you using to wash your face, darling? Okay. Now, why are you using that? Been using it since you were a teenager. Baby, you don't have acne like that, okay? Because what you're using is really, really strong for a daily cleanser for someone in your age group, okay? We don't need that Noxema. We don't need that that apricot, apricot scrub, St. Ives, stuff like that. Um, it's really harsh on your skin, I can tell. I can tell that your skin is just begging for a break, okay? So you do not need to wash your face with that every day. I want you to find something that says daily cleanser. And also, that's got low active ingredients. You do not need to have 
anything that treats acne in your daily cleanser. Because, darling, I don't see a pimple inside, okay? Except that one on the back of your head. But you can't very well wash that with Noxema. It would destroy your hair. Okay? Yeah. All right, what are we using as deodorant? All natural. Okay. Well, honey, you're sweating a lot, right? And I get that. I sweat a lot, too. Why are you using all natural? Okay. Look. Aluminum and the armpits. Sure. Are there potential concerns? Sure. There are potential concerns everywhere. Maybe try a stronger natural if you must do a natural uh, because well honey it just doesn't smell good okay I'm just being honest with you in case nobody else in your life is or, uh, the natural deodorant's not working are there other alternatives you'd be willing to explore that's all Lotion. Use it more. That's it. Uh, you're dry as a bone. Okay? I don't mean that to insult you. I know that I can be a bit harsh at times. That's kind of why I have three ex-husbands, you know. Um, but that lotion doesn't just do good things for you in the long run. Or in the short term, it does good things for you in the long run, right? Um, that'll help your skin stay firmer for longer. Also, can't be a painless experience to have so many like little cuts on your hands from the cold. Yeah, use some lotion. Don't be afraid of it. Okay. That's just about it, all right? So, you're doing great on the sunscreen. I'm really proud of you for that. Just maybe throw in some regular lotion every now and again. Um, have a safe holiday and, and productive new year. And um, remember, if you've got a mole that you wanna talk about, I love to talk about moles, okay? All right, honey, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's the only way that we'll be able to keep in contact, all right? So do like and do subscribe, and you've got this. <laughs>